want to say Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shah, Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shah, Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shah, Kohala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I also want to salute my brothers YSO, Yahweh Shah, sanctified ones out of Nashville, Tennessee. Also want to salute the men, women, and children that's coming to this truth at this lateral end. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanics, and the speckled bird you are who your father is. I also want to give all praises to our father, which his name is Yahweh, mean he is Bahashem, mean in the name of Yahweh Shah, is our deliverer and our savior, in which the whole world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. And uh, hey, I'm just coming to a, a video. I'm just going to go off through the spirit. Uh, I was going around and trying to just trying to figure out what I wanted to do since there's so much going on. But I have posted um, a couple of uh, posts that I did, I think a couple of days ago, um, of RT News. And um, there's a lot of stuff going on. As far as Esau and his kingdom, he, his kingdom was once so like you know, his his kingdom was once vibrant, you know, um, but now down you are seeing uh, different things. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down uh, some scriptures. I'm gonna get back to this article, which I'm not gonna read anything from it, but I'm just gonna use the scriptures to uh, have a comparison and contrast as the Most High like to write in his scriptures, man. And uh, I'm just going to read the article and then I'm going to get to uh, a scripture Then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to walk it back down and then hopefully get you out of here. But these are the times that we're in in which most people uh, are not recognizing um, for the ones who are not recognized. That's that's their lot. And for the ones who are seeing this, and it's your lot, man. So. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Go to the first scripture, which will be Psalms. This is an old one, but one we love to bring out. This is Psalms 73 and 3. And it reads, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And I remember when I was, I was talking with my brother earlier. Uh, about when I was in the world and I wanted to do the things of the world, such as that post that I just saw, you know, I was a trader, a currency trader for like 10 years, never was, was successful at it, knew it and still know it, but the most high didn't want me to uh, excel at it, man. And, it, and when I was reading this, it kind of came to heart. And when I saw the article, it came to heart and it was saying, for I was envious of the foolish at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in the in their de death, but their strength is firm. They are not troubled as other men, neither are they play like other men. So, you know, Esau has always been a man that haven't really been touched, man. You know? The whore of Babylon, you know, she's the virgin. She's never been touched. So when I was seeing him walking in his world, I wanted to walk in the world like Esau, man. Not knowing I'm an Israelite, you know, because you saw that they what? They are not troubled in, as the other men, neither as they play like other men. Therefore, therefore pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. And so, you know, when you come in this truth, you got to take the pride off of you, man. And that's why I say, you know, when you're walking in this world, you're walking in like Esau. And your pride compasses them that has changed as a chain, man. You know, I didn't do any violence, but, you know, they're, they're violence, man. You start to see what they do. It's nothing like Jake, man. You know? They the opposite of what Jake do. The on, most times when Jake do violence is because their situation, their environment. Where Esau just do it because that's just who he is. Their eyes stand out in fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. 
Yeah. They they could, you know, and that's that's what they do, man. They are corrupted and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully, man. You know, they'll tell you that Jake, hey man, Jake, Jake's doing this and Jake doing that. He's he's stealing. The Israelites are stealing. They doing that, but you put them in a situation where they have to. You don't give them the great jobs. You know, you don't you don't give him a, a good position in life. You put them in a bad place. Inspect them. Hey, I always say, man, turn sugar to I mean, turning shit to sugar, man. Jake have always have done that, man. All our lives we had turned shit to sugar, man. And then once we turn it to sugar, Esau takes it, man. So I'm going to continue. This is Psalm 73, verse 9. They set their mouth against the heaven, and their tongue walketh through the earth. You know, they talk bad about the Most High. While they're trying to say that they love the Most High, no. Therefore, his people return hither, and waters of full cups are wrung out to them. I got two more, and they and they say, "How, how do it? The Most High know because the Most High see all things, man. See, Esau's so dumb, he think he's doing something and 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 hidden, and the Most High see all things, man. The Most High's eyes is ten thousand uh, brighter than the sun, and is there knowledge in the Most High? No. You know, on the left hand side, yeah." But they, they, that's what the Lord is, 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 is creating right now. He's creating, you know, the left side knowledge against the right side, man. Wisdom, man. You know, the left side knowledge and the right side wisdom, man. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches, and they have, man. But that that time now is is. Is get get ready to be uh, uh, over, man. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands of innocency. So the point was all the way from you know uh, Psalm seventy three three verses twelve. You know the things that that you wish you had, man. But you know now that when you come into the truth and you find out who you are and find out who your enemy is. Then your 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 mindset is different, man. You know, you be like, man, I, you know, because all Jake does it, man. You know, I, and I got this this lesson this from a brother that came back, you know, that I used to do a lot of business with in 2010. Now he coming back into the truth, asking me all the questions. So he, you know, me and it was just going over, you know, over some stuff that we used to do back in the day as far as business and trying to be successful. And you be like, man, you know, why would, why would, why wasn't we successful? And now I'm telling him because he just coming in like a babe, just to start off with Deuteronomy 28, man. You know, this is not our rest. You know, those are the curses that came came upon us. And Jake get a little bread, he think he doing something, man. And so we was going back and forth, you know, with good good attention, no no bad no bad grief, but we we. Now through the scriptures, we know that these these days weren't here, man. These days weren't meant for us. It's like these times weren't with us. But now that Esau's at his time, man, it's over. Let me get one scripture before I get James. This is uh Second Ezra uh six and nine, and you know we've been bringing this out for a long time, but this is needed, and it reads, "For Esau is the end of the world." And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And so, you know, uh, Esau is the end of the world, man. And you see in his kingdom, you know, through the article I just showed you that no one's trusting him anymore, man. And you're going to see uh, before I get to James, I'm going to go to my uh, Instagram page and show you that people don't trust Esau no more. And his kingdom is going down. There's a couple articles that I'm going to show you through, that you know his kingdom is going down and that people don't trust him, man. And here it is. This is a, uh, uh, this is there a, there's a big risk in a stock market crash if U.S. Fed decide to raise interest rates. Analysts tell boom bust. So, you know, so this, you know, 
course, you see that the stock market is at thirty one thousand, man. But you 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 know we know that that with fifty million people unemployed. Now, how can you have your stock market at thirty one thousand? There are 31,000 uh, points without it getting ready to be a risk, man, especially when the interest rates go up. Because when you when your interest rates go up, that's supposed to tell you that your economy is strong. Well, you know, America's economy is not strong because, you know, we got the, the pandemic. We, we have uh, 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 of all these things, these, these, these uh, infirmities coming. You know, we have all these things coming, man, you know. And, and you know that, that that's not true. Then around the world, the Bitcoin prices are soaring, man. And what is that, man? What is the Bitcoin, man? That's the new that's the new world order, man. That's what you're coming to. That's where your money's getting ready to go to. And it says, as a Bitcoin price soars, Russian opposition figures uh, Navy Lee movement has received $300,000 $300, in a, a, anonymous donations so far this year so you know they, they're trying to move it into what they think their uh their kingdom will uh, continue man but they they're they're, they're 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 this kingdom's getting ready to fall man and esau just don't know it but well, he knows it you know esau knows it but hey man um he's trying to keep it from falling but there's no there's no way he can do that man because hey the lord has a number for everything man uh, this and it reads right here. So, uh, if you want visiting forces agreement, you have to pay Philippines. Duterte's, uh, I think it's a Duterte signal freebies for U.S. is over. So he's telling you, man. He calling USA. And he got the gun in his hand, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, because Esau, he likes to He like, hey man, he like Trump, man. He likes to hire people, but not pay them, man. And then it's right here. It says U.S. would never recognize Russia's sovereignty over uh, Crimea, um, says Washington dip diplomat at U.S. U.N. confirming sanctions here to stay. So all this stuff is coming into play, man. It's coming to play. Matter of fact, I got another one that I had. Uh, I just posted. And this is Israeli missile strike kills six non-Syrian military fighters near damascus man hey we we right here it's a lot of stuff going on man and people don't people are trying to you know uh, uh ignore what's going on but we we the we the prophets man we supposed to warn the sheep man we supposed to ruin the people this is uh i'm gonna go to uh james uh james chapter five Verse one, it says, "Slucky, go, go to now, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your misery that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eating. Your gold and silver is crankered, and the rust of them shall be written against you, and shall eat your flesh." As it were fire, ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. See, all your stuff is coming to cranker, man. Behold the hire of the labor who have reaped down your fear fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, man. This is what I just said. Crieth in the cries of them which have reaped of Enter into the ears of the Lord Yahweh of Sabbath. You know, we run that out, man. You know, the Lord's army, man. You know, hey, you he, he, he get ready to uh, see the Lord. The Lord is a host, man. You have command, you have command and kill the just, and he doeth not resist you, man. And yeah, man. For for all many these many years, man, you have been killing Israelites, man. And they have, you know, we've been fighting and walking and telling people, you know, you know, justice for rights, 
You know, hey, but you just mess with the Lord's children, man, and you go out to pay. This is James 5 and 7. It says, it reads, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord Yahweh. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it. See, the Most High got patience, man. He has patience until he received the early in the latter rain. I see, you know, in, the, in you. You people think the most high ain't coming, man. You know? You, you think it's coming to a, a long time. Hey, he the Lord has very he has he has he has he has very uh, long patience, man. I think I got a quick precept. This is uh, I think Second Peter's uh chapter three verses nine. Yeah, here it is right here. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise, man. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, man. Hey, that's what you should be doing. Hey, if you do, if you do, if you do, if you are the Israelite man, the so-called Negro, Native American, and Hispanic, and the speckled old bird, man, you should be coming to repentance, man. Cause this is a time that hey, it's very short. This this ain't no this ain't you know these things ain't happening overseas for no reason, man. These things is not happening. These these the earthquakes and and, and the, the, the 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 stock market, uh, and the pestilence. Hey, this 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 is not, this is not stuff that that uh, uh, people will say. Oh, this been happening, but every time you put on TV, these are record record records record high uh, uh, things. Like right now, you know, here in Tennessee, you know, I mean, we got ice storms around here, man. You know, one would say, oh, we it happened before, right? But more and more, of these things going to come into fruition. California fires. You know, earthquakes over in Japan at 7.3. So, hey, man, you know, you can close your eyes all you want. But, hey, man, the most high is on his way, man. Do we know the time or the date? Of course not. But like I said before, through prophecies, through Matthew 24, it tells you the prophecies of what, what's going to happen, man. So these are the times that you will, we, we walking into. It, and, and if you have your eyes closed, hey man, you gonna get destroyed. All right, this is uh, Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, so you ain't gonna know. So the people who ain't got their mindset ain't watching the news. Hey, what them said? What the Lord said? He said, but the day of the Lord Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, man. Why you sleep? In the which. The heavens shall shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Hey, that's those missiles, man. The earth also, and the works, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. That's right. And see, there it is. There's a breakdown. Hey, the sounds made by the ICBM missiles, man. They're hitting the earth, man. And you know we could go to we could go to the precepts. We could go to Revelation sixteen fifteen. We can go to uh, Ecclesiastes. Let's just get uh, Revelations uh, sixteen and fifteen right quick. And it reads, "Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches." That there's a key word. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. Man. That's that's not having this truth with you. That's having this folly, man. Walking around as nothing happening, man. You gotta have this garment. You gotta have this knowledge, man. We are we are watched, you know, for the one who the the one thirty let, man. Your job is to listen to these videos, listen to these brothers, to get to get sight, to know where we at, man. Like I said, I show you those 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 little pictures in the articles. You seeing that that the uh the brewing of Yahasha fat. Yahasha fat, Yahasha Yahasha 
Yahweh Shapat, man. Yahweh Shapat is is a hey, man. It's warming up. You know, people are tired of this of the system, man. It, it was the uh, uh, the beast should hate the whore. Let's see if we can find that right quick. So lock it. Uh, beast shall hate the whore. Con. This is Revelation 17 and 16. And in the ten horn which thou sawest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, man. Yeah, there's some other nations, man. That's 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 uh uh uh, uh Russia, you know, China. They are red, man. Hey, cause, 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 cause Esau have have dealt with them treacherously, man. You know. But this, that's, that's, I'm, I'm, we're ready to wrap it up. I got a couple, you know. I got the, you know, the whole breakdown. Esau has been living deliciously in this world for a long time, man. His, in his, in, in his time is up, man. His time is up. Check something real quick. I think that should be it. Two, three. And this is just the most high, man. For the vision is yet for an appointment time. But at the end, it shall speak the words, man. We've been talk we've been saying this for a long time that these things are gonna happen, man. But it's not to the men of the Lord who's on the highways and the Bible. It start to speak these, these, these things start to come into fruition, man. It, I'm gonna read it from the top again. It's Habakkuk two and three, for the vision is yet not appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, man. It's not gonna tarry, man. It's not. Hey, once this this time is up, it's up. So I want to say, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah. Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Also, want to salute to my brothers, YSO, Yahweh Shah, sanctified ones out of Nashville, Tennessee. I also want to salute to the men, women, and children that's coming to this truth at this lateral end. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanic, and the speckled old bird, man. You are who your father is, man. And our power name is Yahweh. That means he is by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, our Savior, our Deliverer, in which the whole world eagerly called Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah HaMashiach in the Hebrew tongue, man. I want to salute and, and shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000. Hopefully that this video was edifying to you, you brothers, and to the remnant that goes along with us. I hope that you was edified and shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.